Let us give thanks and gratitude to the Bishop of Mbere, Bishop Mashamba. The first thing is that he was able to approach the Archbishop to be able to come and preside over this function. He also took it upon himself to ask and request other bishops to be in attendance. Therefore, we are expecting a huge number of people to attend. There are certain protocols that are observed within the Anglican Church, which I'm a member, and that pertains to people at the level of a bishop, where it is expected, is the norm, that it happens that they are taken to the cathedral and then taken over to their burial site. I want to thank the bishop for this one purpose, the exception that he has given upon the request by the family members, that uh, the wishes of the bishop, which was private to only members of the family, which was not known to the church at the time, when they presented the wishes of what the late bishop would have wanted, the bishop had absolutely no problems in rescheduling uh, the arrangement as to how the church was going to be. This also is going to help in the sense that there are very many members who are be going to come to be coming for the funeral on, on Monday the 8th. And therefore, we would like to advise them as well to come directly to Mochongori Church so that there is absolutely no confusion as to where the body will be taken after that and we do not want any delay. The service will begin at 11 o'clock and therefore people should drive straight to uh, Mushungori. Thereafter, as the brother has said, the interning of the body is going to be done uh, at the retreat, which is owned uh, by uh, the bishop. And the program starts at ECK uh, Mount Kenya Hospital, Kiruguya, and then right to the ECK Church of the Good Shepherd, Mushungori, around 11 o'clock. The main service will be held there and then thereafter we will take him to uh, St. Thomas uh, Retreat and Conference Center, Kamiriru. Issues of uh, why Muchunguri, why uh, Retreat Center, these are his, were his wishes. I am his uh, brother. Whom, I'm, whom, whom I follow and all the time we have talked to him and especially since 2006 when we opened uh, the Church of the Good Shepherd he was anxious to see that the church grows because he's the one who initiated it and therefore the day the church was opened in fact he is the one who consecrated it he said I wish this is a place the last farewell of prayers will be held. Of course, thereafter, 19, 2008, the time he was retiring, he had the same message through after the uh, retirement uh, service which was held there. In 2018, when my, 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 my uncle was having a Thanksgiving service, he had the same wishes and January 2020, after a very special service which was held there, he repeated the same thing. And therefore, in as far as the uh, ceremony of his um, taking off or giving him his rest, uh, it was his wishes. Likewise, the other place called um, St. Thomas, we are aware he has a big building here. We are aware that he has land here. But he had a passion with that particular center, and that's why he ended up saying, that is where I'm going to be buried. <laughs>